Hi, I'm Pick'em Star 6. I started an SP called the Shrinks SP exactly one year ago. And this is the entire lore in just eight minutes. I hope you enjoy and please like and subscribe because this video took tons of time. It started as a normal SP. There was no lore, no war, nothing. That's until when a player changed everything. Now, we were fighting the Wither, a normal fight for the Wither on the SMP. And then, one of our members was acting pretty sus. Just after the Wither fight, he immediately left. And that's not the suspicious thing about this. The suspicious thing that he's been acting very sus for a few days now. We had to get to the bottom of this. Now imagine this, three people chilling on the SMP, Penguin Star 6, Zep, and Hamad the Human. And the suspicious guy by himself in the community house. Now we were talking about something. But then the suspicious guy came out of the community house, he put a lever on the community house, and then he flipped it. I heard TNT, and suddenly, everything explodes. The community house, the tower, everything. Now after that, he died to the explosion, and he never came back again. Fast forward two weeks after that, one of my members told me there was a huge war between J-Dog that he's been stealing all my stuff. I immediately joined, and I geared up before the war by one week. I wasn't really doing well at the start, but then j Dog fell from a high place and died. But then, I killed Corgi and ended this lore once and for all. What I didn't know, one week later, he came back. I first confronted him and we talked a little bit. I put a trap one day before the war. I tried to look for it and I didn't find it. And the only person I told where the trap was, was Akame, my only member. That meant my only member betrayed me, and I had to get my revenge. First, I blew up J-Dog's base. And that caused J-Dog to die once and for all. I fought his members. I fought his member hour two. He logged off and I was about to kill him. I blew up all his stuff, and that was the end for the J-Dog lore. Two months passed by, and there was a new virus in town. Someone had to test if it's dangerous or not, so Panda decided to do it. I gave him everything he needed, and then we left the room. We come back to find Panda completely infected by the zombie. We freak out and we don't know what to do. We check on him every day. Every day gets more worse. It gets so bad that Panda escapes from his prison and he chases everyone. So I had to do something to end this virus. I ended Panda and the virus was gone forever. Panda came back again and he kept messing around with my town. So I went to his town and messed around with his. We started fighting. I was not getting damaged at all, and I needed to win this war because if I didn't win this, it would be so embarrassing to get my crab destroyed and also dying to Panda. I decided to fire TNT everywhere to blow up all the stuff. I started fighting his member Sophia, and I killed her in three sword hits. After that, I immediately killed Panda and left his town once and for all, killing Panda. But Panda was different. Remember the name, do Panda draw. Just like any day on the Minecraft SMP, I opened the important box to check if there's something new, and I found a book. I opened it, and there was cords inside of it. I went because it had Panda's name in it, so I went there. I go there, and the first thing I find is Soph. The one I killed in the last lure. I go there and I start fighting Panda and Soph. I damage them hardly. I was about to kill Soph, but then Panda decides he will sacrifice his life for his member Soph. Now if you don't know, if you die five times in lore, you turn into a ghost. And you cannot do anything as a ghost. And Panda died five times, so that meant he was the first ghost on the SMP. 
A few weeks passed by, and this army named Kingdoms wanted to take the Shrinks' and Pete town. A huge war happened. I was trying to distract the main leader of the Kingdoms, while Reederson was trying to pull off the trap on him. But if we failed the single step of our plan, everything we did will be gone and it will be the end. Now the trap worked very bad, and it did nothing to our enemy. We were losing rapidly. And just as we were about to leave, Gaming Facts joined. If you do not know who Gaming Facts is, he is the best PvPer on the SMP. He managed to help us and get them all in prison. This was the finale, the finale that we've been building up this entire time for. Panda and Axel have prepared something that I wasn't expecting at all. I found Panda and Axel chilling next to a machine that looked so dangerous. I went there and we talked for a little bit. Panda told Axel he wanted to show me something. Apparently it was a doomsday device. And Panda wanted to show me something. He flipped the lever and the doomsday device turned red. I heard the explosions everywhere. I went to check on the castle and the castle was completely destroyed. I was winning by so much. I killed Panda because I couldn't stand him. When Panda died, he turned into a ghost for a second time, and Axel was put into prison. I killed one and turned him into a ghost, and one was in prison, but it wasn't going to last for long. It was the day after the war. I went to check on Axel to see if he's doing anything suspicious, but I didn't find him doing anything. A player named Reederson joined out of nowhere. He was an old member that betrayed me before, and he hasn't joined the SMP since one month ago. This was it. I knew what it was from the first start entered. Reederson joined the SMP just to revive Panda again. He pulled the lever and Panda was back. I went to go confront Axel about what the hell was going on, and then I heard explosions everywhere in the SMP. I went outside and everything was gone. My control room, the iron golem, the secret base, everything I had was destroyed. It was from one particular device, the doomsday device. There were three people, actually all escaped, and I had really bad armor at the time, so I could have just 1v3 them. They forced me to go to the place, and I had to do it because if I tried to fight back, I would have been dead in no time. They trapped me and I didn't know anything that was happening. I didn't have pearls, so I couldn't escape. And now at that time, I knew that everything was over. For the first time ever in my whole entire SMP life, I was dead. I came back as a ghost and they both wanted to make an announcement. They announced that they will be vice president and president. I couldn't do anything about it since I was a ghost. They forced me down a hole. The next thing I know, I was trapped as a ghost in an obsidian box. And that was the end for season one. Please make sure to like and subscribe because this video took so long to make. And make sure to go check out the first video for season two where I get my revenge on Panda.